What's up guys? Just got off work and gotta go get Taco Bell for my dad. And there's actually a really funny story that goes along with not Taco Bell, but like with um, Chick-fil-A. So there was this one time I went through the Chick-fil-A drive-thru and I knew my friend worked there and so I go pull up to the window, not the window, but the place where you place your order. And she goes, hi, how can I help you? And then I go, Kaylee, you fucking bitch, what's up? And she goes, haha, so what can I get you? Cause I guess she didn't know who I was. And then I go, do you not know who this is? And she goes, no. And I go, this is Lizzie, what's up? And she was like, oh, haha, what can I get you? And I was like wondering why she was acting so weird because like, that's not like her. Like she's, she's supposed to laugh because I thought that was pretty funny. So I tell her what I want. And then my dad texted me. This is exactly what he said. And he said, Liz, tell them to put no fucking pickles on there. So you know what? That's my friend. So I'm going to tell her don't, give her, don't give him any fucking pickles. So I said that. I said that exactly. I said, don't give him any fucking pickles. And then the manager at Chick-fil-A comes on the intercom and said, can you please stop swearing? Like all of our other team members can hear you. And I said, oh my God, <laughs> I'm the most embarrassing person you're ever going to meet. Like who does that? Who swears? Wait, wait, wait a minute. No. Who gives the headset to other people that's not through the drive-thru. I feel like that would mess people up. Like if you're cooking these chicken nuggets for these other people, like why would you want to hear what else everyone else is ordering? Maybe that'll just mess you up. What if you're cooking french fries and someone says chicken, you're like, fuck, maybe I should have been cooking chicken, but who knows? So I thought it was kind of dumb. So I don't think it's my fault. It's definitely Chick-fil-A's fault. But yeah, that was relatable. There was your little car side story. Hope you liked it. It was really embarrassing. One of the most embarrassing moments of my life. I honestly haven't been back to that Chick-fil-A in a really long time since I did that. Cause I'm honestly really embarrassed. Like, like they're gonna know my face. They're not, they're not gonna be like, oh, there's that bitch that was like swearing up a storm through the drive-through. So I don't think they're gonna, they're not gonna point me out of the crowd or anything. So if you like this story, I can give you a lot more because I'm an embarrassing human being. And so just let me know what you guys want me to make more videos on. I have a bunch of stories. If you want just a little bit of stories, I can give you some of my life because, well, there's not much to it. Let's just say that there's not much to my life. So give me a life. All right guys, well I just got home from work and telling you that story and getting Taco Bell for my dad. Um, I'm gonna go camping this weekend, so hopefully I make another video soon. And if you like me talking to you guys, I'll make more of these. So just give me a big old thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna see more of this face. Hey yeah, my nails are coming off. I peeled them off today. Pretty. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Relatable, hashtag, oh fuck no.